have a live connection here. I think I do. Welcome everyone. Thank you again for joining me this week, uh, starting us off. We have a brand new schedule to go live from uh, our Mission Yoga Studios, both in Scranton and South Abington. Of course, we're all still quarantined and staying safe, so we're doing it live for you. So take a few moments, find a comfortable seat on your mat, getting a few people to join in here. Welcome everyone. Just find that comfortable seat wherever you are in your home today, on this beautiful sunny day. Take a few moments to ground and center. Find a little peace. Oh, I just cracked my hip there. Woo. Find that grounding. Find yourself. Maybe just shrug the shoulders down your back. Gently begin to close your eyes. Your hands can ground down to uh, your palms down on your thighs, or maybe palms open to receive a little bit of energy, awakening our senses a little bit. Hey Julie, good to see you too. <laughs> and take a few breaths, take a few moments to just find a little serenity. Deep, full, meaningful breaths in and out of your nose. Finding that comfortable seat. Noticing the shoulders maybe drop down a little more. Maybe the hips tuck forward slightly. Lift deeply through the crown of your head. Deep, full belly breaths in. Deep releases out. And as we sit here gently, Maybe set an intention for your practice as you deepen your breath, as you create that space, that sacred space for yourself. And that intention can be for yourself, it can be for someone else in your life, it can be a little more universal, maybe for the peace and healing of the world right now. Close your eyes, maybe gently begin to flutter them open. Together we'll inhale our arms up over our head, palms to touch. As we exhale, we're going to tip over to the left to open the right side body. So maybe opposite from me right now, our hands will come apart, our palms to face. And then you can stay right here, or maybe drop your left fingertips down. Your right arm will shoot up over your head. Try to drop that right shoulder down, glue to your seat, and just open up that right side body. Gaze up or down or neutrally in front of you, wherever you're most comfortable in your neck. Take a few moments here, breathing fully in and out. Deep, full breaths in. Deep, full breaths out. Inhale, come back to center, palms to touch. As you exhale, let's just twist over to the right. So the right hand is going to come behind our seat. Left arm will come to the outside edge of your right thigh. You'll have a neutral spine, and we'll just twist over, gazing behind you, opening up that right side, twisting out the left. A couple more breaths, deep, full breaths in, deep, full breaths out. One more inhale. One more deep twist and release out. Go ahead and inhale back to center. Reach the arms up once more. As you exhale, we're going to tip over to the right to open the left side body. Your arms can stay up or we can drop the right fingertips down. Left arm shoots up over the head. Bicep is by the ear. What's up, car? Deep, full belly breaths in and out of your nose. few more moments, few more deep breaths. Open up deeply on that left side now, maybe tipping over a little bit more to the right. On your next
next inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, twist over to the left. Right arm comes to the outside edge of the left thigh. Left fingertips and hands plant behind the seat. Deep, full breaths in and out. Take one more deep inhale. One deep twist out. Inhale back to center, arms reach up. And we're just gonna take a little gentle back bend here. So just tip your hips forward, lift your heart, lift your chest up, open up the center body, open up your heart center. Palms face one another. Take one more deep breath in. As you exhale, just walk the fingertips in front of you and just gently fold from your seated position, just gazing forward, maybe even rounding in the spine this early, maybe a little tight. So just take a few moments to reach forward, fold forward and breathe. Another deep breath in and deep breath out. Make your way into tabletop from that comfortable seat and rattle the legs out. Bring your knees down, hands underneath your shoulders. Find your way on your mat and breathe. Coming right into tabletop, the hands will come under the shoulders, the knees are underneath the hips. We can just start to come into free movement, swaying in our hips. Maybe turning your wrists in towards the front of wherever you're at, and the elbow slightly, getting that carpal area opened up. It's great if we're texting and typing all day. You can continue to sway in those hips, maybe take gentle circles in the neck to the left and right. Take a few more breaths. Any dynamic movement from tabletop. And if you haven't already, start to incorporate your cats and cows, eventually planting the palms, fingertips forward. On an inhale for cow face, we'll gaze forward, our seat sticks up behind us as we arch our back. Exhale around the spine, chin comes to chest. Continue that flow on your own breath, deep inhales, gazing forward for cow. Deep exhale, rounding the spine for cat. Continue to flow. Following that breath cycle, linking your breath to your movement. Very important in yoga, especially our vinyasa. Each breath is movement. Take two more full cycles of cat and cow. spine, meeting back in tabletop, coming right into firebird pose, when we are ready, right leg lifts behind us, left arm reaches forward, take a few breaths to find that stability in the spine, align your spine, belly button is into the spine, activating our core, Extending through the fingertips and reaching through that back leg. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, round your elbow to me. Fire up the core. A few more times. Deep inhale, reach and kick. Deep exhale, round the spine. Continue to flow through your breath on the inhales, reaching. Exhale, rounding. Deep inhales, deep exhales. On your next inhale, extend both arm and leg. We're gonna drop the left palm and drop our right foot at the back of our mat, coming into an assisted side plank. So our left knee is down, our left hand comes underneath our left shoulder, and our right arm will reach up. Take a few breaths, 
Maybe you'd like to extend that right arm over the head. Really lift that right hip if you're comfortable, maybe even lifting your right leg, flexing that leg with you as you lift it up. Any variation, a few more breaths. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, return to tabletop carefully and gently. Shake that side out, swaying, and preparing your opposite side. On your next inhale, that left leg extends, right arm reaches forward. Kicking and reaching, find that sweet spot of balance, find your core, find your breath. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Inhale, reach and kick. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach and lift. Exhale, round elbow to knee. Continue through your own breath. Deep inhales, deep exhales. One more time. Take a deep breath in to extend. This time we'll drop the right palm to open that left hip and plant your left foot parallel to the outside edge of the back of your mat. Left arm eventually will reach up. Take a moment, find your balance, find your core, really lift through that left side. Eventually, if you'd like to bring the left arm over the head and lift the left leg, your choice, anywhere in between. Continue to find that breath. Deep, full, meaningful breaths in and out. Sending your breath somewhere to your body. Somewhere on your left side. Take one more deep inhale. As you exhale, return to tabletop. Take a moment to shake that side out. Maybe take a cat and cow. And then we'll meet in child's pose. Sinking back for a moment. Bring the knees nice and wide, seat comes back towards the heels, arms extend forward, forehead comes down. Come back to that intention maybe for a moment. Eventually making your way to your first downward facing dog. Roll over the feet, plant the palms, pedal out the feet, walking your dog. Maybe still shaking that head, yes and no. Continue to make space as you find your breath. Again, maybe linking that breath to each movement, even if it's just a little micro movement, lifting the feet and dropping them back down, maybe bending the elbows. Eventually come to stillness in your downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale and a deep release out. Begin to gaze forward, come up onto the toes, bend the knees slightly and just tiptoe, feet to hands, top of your mat. Take your time to get there. Once we do get there, feet hip width distance apart, two fists between your feet. And we'll find ragdoll on it. Take a half lift on an inhale. Exhale into ragdoll. Keep the bent knees as much as you need to. Grab on the opposite elbow. And then just send your weight over the balls of your feet. Sending the weight forward. Maybe stretching the legs out. Extending them. Sway in the pendulum pose if you'd like to. Breath is full, deep inhales, deep releases out. Eventually draping your hands down to the mat, fingertips tent, gaze forward on an inhale, exhale, fold. Heel toe the feet together. And then we'll just simply rise, chin and chest last to lift. So we're just rounding up. Shoulders come 
back, crown of the head to the sky, mountain pose. A few breaths, deep inhales, deep exhales. Coming right into our sun salutation. Sun salutation A. On an inhale, we reach the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, fold over, straighten the legs. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to plank and breathe. Deep, full breaths in and out. Firing up the core. Really plant through the palms. Tuck the hips forward. Heels to the back of the room. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale to drop your knees, lower down chest and chin. Eight point salute. Seat is up high in the air. Stretch out your lower back. Deep inhale. Exhale into Cobra Pose. Release the entire body for a moment. Unravel the tops of the feet down. And just get lift the upper body. Lift the heart center and the head. Hands can stay down at the mat. If you'd like a little deeper opener, maybe bring the hands interlaced behind you. Feet glued to the mat, breath is full. Taking another deep breath. Exhale, drop the chin, return the hands underneath your shoulders, and let's reverse chaturanga up. Plant through the palms, roll over the feet, and push up. Back to plank, breathe in, breathe out. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Full deep breaths in, full deep breaths out. Begin to gaze forward, bend the knees. This time, we'll just step to the top of the mat, one foot at a time. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward, reset the spine. Exhale, fold over extended legs. Inhale to rise, palms touch overhead as we come up. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more time with our breath, sun salutation A. Deep inhale, rise, palms touch. Deep exhale, swan dive over straight legs. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float through chaturanga, lowering down with that exhale. Inhale, forward and through, high cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the feet, downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, onto the toes, gaze forward, bend knees. Exhale, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, rise, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Breath in, breath out. Right into sun B. Let's sink the seat, lift the arms, biceps, or by the ears. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Maybe sink a little lower. One more deep inhale. Exhale, fold over, straighten the legs. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, plant palms, step or float through chaturanga, elbows in tight as you come down. Inhale, forward and through, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the feet for downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, bend knee and open up hip. Take a few moments here to open up your side body. To reacquaint your hands, planting through your palms, even weight through the hands and that back foot. Circle that right ankle, maybe open that hip a little bit deeper. Inhale back to down dog split. Exhale, knee comes to chest, warrior one. Plant the feet, right foot forward, back foot drops and come up. Straighten that front leg, square off the hips. Rebend into warrior one. Take a few 
breaths, find your pose. Deep lunge in that right leg. One more deep inhale. Exhale to frame your foot and step back as you lower, coming down, breathing fully. Inhale forward and through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, bend knee and open up hip. Square off the hips, the shoulders. Circle that left ankle, really open that left side. Plant through the palms and breathe. Create a little space. Inhale, re-extend, left leg. Exhale, knee comes to chest, then to warrior one. Take your time to rise and find the pose as you inhale up. Straighten that front leg a moment, re-bend. Feet are planted, breath is full. Deep inhale. Exhale, frame your foot, step back to lower, chaturanga. Exhale, roll over the feet. Pedal out the feet and breathe. Begin to bend the knees, come up on the toes, knees forward, inhale. Exhale, step or hop, top of mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, sink seat, rise up. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to the heart. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. One more time, sun salutation B through our breath. Inhale, sink seat, lift the arms up, upper chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop, chaturanga. Inhale, forward and through. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right leg lifts, bend knee, open up hip. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Plant the feet and rise up. Take a full breath in and come up. And a full breath out to flow. Step back to lower. Inhale forward and through. Exhale, press back. Inhale, left leg lifts, bend knee, open up hip. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Plant the feet and come up. Breath in, breath out to flow. Step back to lower. Meet in down dog through your chaturanga. up and back. Exhale, knee to chest, low lunge. Right foot forward. We're going to drop the back knee to open up our top of our left psoas. Our hands can stay up on our thighs this early, maybe really tight, or maybe we're, we'd like to reach the arms out for the full version of the pose. Focus on your breath. Send it to those openings you're creating. Breath in, breath out to flow. Plant the palms, either step back to lower or step right into downward facing dog. If you're lowering, inhale forward for up dog. Exhale, roll over the feet. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, knee to chest for a little lunge. Left foot forward, right knee drops. Hands up onto the thighs. Find your breath, find the pose. Your version of low lunge. Breath in, breath out to flow. Plant the palms, frame the foot, step back to 
plank to lower, or just find your downward facing dog. Meet in down dog. On an inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Complete our sun bees with the seat of the arms to chair. Straighten legs, hands to heart. Deep, full, meaningful breath in. Deep release to let it go. Good, inhale, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant palms, step or flow through chaturanga, meet and down dog. Blowing through your breath. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to chest or plank, hold. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to chest. Last time, inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to chest, right foot forward, back foot drops, warrior one, coming up. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Begin to walk the right foot out slightly, keep the feet planted. Interlace fingers behind your back, take a half lift, stretching that heart open on an inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. Two more times, lifting yourself up on an inhale, waterfall warrior. Exhale, heart center down. Last time and we'll hold, humble warrior. Inhale, rise, keep that deep lunge. Exhale, lower and hold. Humble warrior, hands, fingers interlace. Heart center down on that right thigh or right shoulder, grace at the inside edge of the leg. Plant the feet and breathe. Binds, walk the back foot or the front foot in towards the center again. Straighten that front leg and come up onto the ball of your back foot. Inhale to straighten the leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, high lunge, release the arms. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, we bend. Good, last time. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, we bend. Heart center comes forward. We're going to come into airplane pose. Warrior three, step into the right foot. Lift the left, arms off at your sides. Breathe fully. If you're comfortable and bind, maybe you'd like to interlace the fingers. A few more breaths. Last deep inhale. Last deep exhale. Carefully step back to high lunge, release the binds, take a deep inhale, exhale, frame your foot, step back to lower or meet in down dog, stick chaturanga, take your time, making your way back. Good, on your next inhale, left leg lifts, down dog split, exhale, knee to chest and hold, core plank. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, up and back, down dog split. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Plant the feet and rise up. Take a moment, breathe in, and breathe out. Eventually walk that left foot out slightly. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Take a full breath in, lead your heart up. Exhale, heart center down. Two more times like that. Waterfall warrior, inhale, the heart up. Back bend, exhale, heart center down. Last time and we'll hold. Inhale, rise, lead with the heart. Exhale, heart center comes down. Fold and hold. Humble warrior. Deep breaths. On your next inhale, begin to rise. Release the bind a moment. 
walk that front foot in slightly, straighten the front leg, come up on the ball of the back foot, find high lunge, inhale to straighten, leave the arms up, exhale, lunge, release the arms, inhale, straighten and reach, exhale, re-bend. Last time, deep inhale, exhale, re-bend. Heart center comes forward into power lunge, right into your airplane pose. Lift the right leg, take the bind or release the arms. Breath is full. Taking one final breath, deep inhale. As you exhale, step back to high lunge a moment. Take a full breath in, exhale, spring the foot and flow, step back to lower. Inhale forward and through up dog. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Down dog split. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Plant the feet, rise up. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, open up for warrior two. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up, flying warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, rebend. Last time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, re-bend, warrior two. Deep lunge in the right leg. Back foot is planted parallel to the mat. Arms, take a moment, maybe drop the shoulders. Eventually find them parallel to your mat. Inhale, flip the right palm, find some peace. Take a few more breaths. Maybe take a half bind or a full bind if it's in your practice tonight. Stretching out the shoulders, strengthening the shoulders, the upper body, flexing the arms. And eventually release warrior two on an inhale. Prepare for balance into half moon. Walk that back foot in slightly when you're ready. Right fingertips will come down, left arm reaches up, flex that left leg, gaze up or down, a few more breaths, stay with it, good, one more deep inhale, as you exhale, fingertips drop, let's roll into a ball, preparing standing split. Inhale, extend that leg. Exhale, re-bend into a ball. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, re-bend. This time we'll extend on an inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna step back halfway on our mat, preparing pyramid pose. So make sure you're trained to interacting the feet. Feet eventually will plant. We'll inhale, fingertips to the mat. Look at your forward, flat on the back. Exhale, heart center down over that right leg. Play with your footing. Find your pyramid. Deepen it as much as you like. Extending the legs. Flexing the legs. Breathing fully. Take this into a twist. Our left fingertips will stay down under our shoulders. Our right arm will come to our head. You can stay right here for the twist to deepen it. Maybe you'd like to walk the left hand towards the right foot and extend the right arm. Really flex those legs. Keep the feet planted. Gaze up or down. Stay with it. Use your breath. Utilize your breath. Take one more deep breath in. 
Exhale to frame your foot, step back to plank, and either choose to lower or just find your down dog. Meeting us in down dog, full breaths to get there. Coming to that left side, left leg lifts on an inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Plant the feet and rise up. Deep breath in. Exhale, open up for warrior two. Inhale, straighten the reach, flying warrior. Exhale, deep bend in the left leg, warrior two. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, big bend. Last time, we'll hold. Deep inhale, deep exhale, warrior two. Breathe fully. Good, inhale, flip the left palm. Exhale, find some peace. Maybe take that half bind. Maybe a full bind on this side if it's attainable tonight. Strengthen the upper body. Stretch out the shoulders. If you've taken a bind, begin to release it. Finding your half moon. Take your time to get there. Pop that back foot in slightly. When you're ready, lift that right leg, left fingertips come down, right arm shoots up. Breathe. One more breath. On your exhale, bring the fingertips down, square off the hips and roll into a ball. Inhale, extend the leg, a little standing split variation. Exhale, roll into a ball, crouch down. Inhale up. Exhale, crouch down. This time we'll extend up on an inhale. <clears throat> we'll come up to our fingertips and plant that back foot halfway between our mat. Pyramid pose, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold over left extended leg. Take a few moments, find the pose, straighten the leg, or leave it bent as much as you need to. Finding your capacity, breath by breath, not pushing yourself, just staying focused. Another deep breath in, and deep breath out, preparing your twist. Right fingertips will stay down, left hand comes to the hips as you open that heart and left shoulder open. You can stay right here, maybe walk that right foot either on top of the foot or the outside, lift the left arm if that's attainable on this side, and breathe open. Through that twist, belly button is engaged towards the spine. To increase your twist, breath is full. Stay with it. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, frame your foot, meet in down dog. Either step back to plank to lower, or simply step into down dog. Eventually making your way into child's pose. Take a moment to drop to your knees. Get out of the shoulders a moment, sinking your seat, dropping your third eye down. Maybe scooting the arms behind you. Knees can be wide-legged or together. Come back to that intention. That guiding light that brought you here tonight. That meaningful light into your practice. forward if you haven't already. 
where you find your downward facing dog. Roll over the feet, pedal the feet out, and breathe. On your next inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, up and back, down dog split. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, fallen triangle. Extend that right leg, come to the knife edge of the right foot, and lift the left side up. Plant through the right palm, find your breath. Deep inhale. Exhale, hands down, core plank, into high lunge, right foot forward, ball of the back foot as you come up. Nice deep, open high lunge. Right, take one more deep inhale, one last deep exhale. We're going to interlace our right arm underneath our left for eagle arms. Lift your hands up, lift your shoulders slightly, and then drop them back down. Nice deep high lunge with a bind. Preparing to come forward into warrior three with this bind. Eventually you'll walk that back foot in to lift it up. Reaching the arms forward, lifting the left leg. Take another breath in. And a deep breath out. Coming to standing with this spine, take a moment to find your balance pose, ego. Left leg steps over right, crouch down slightly into your eagle pose, either interlacing both legs or just crossing that left over the right. You can stay right here, maybe you'd like to find ego in its nest. One more deep breath in. As we exhale, come up, lift that left leg, release the arms, and find warrior two. Step right into it. Inhale, flip the right palm, find some peace. Exhale into side angle. Right arm comes down to the thigh, left arm comes up. Inhale, up and back for a little flow, dancing warrior. Exhale into side angle. Maybe extend the left arm. Inhale, peaceful warrior, flip it up and back. Exhale to side angle. Last time, inhale up and back. Exhale into your side angle, any variation. Right fingertips maybe come down. Half bind, full bind, bird of paradise, your choice. Five more breaths. Find your variation of the pose. Good, birds begin to touch down. Side angles, release any binds. Inhale yourself back up, straighten that leg. Bump the hips out, reach forward, out and down for triangle pose. Left arm extends, maybe you'd like to windmill it out a few times. Maybe need stopping an extension over the head or a half bind. Utilize that breath. Find those open spaces. Breathe fully. Eventually we extend that left arm, carefully planting the feet to lift yourself up. Toes will come in, heels will knock out for a wide-legged forward fold from standing. On an inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale to fold and release. Fingertips tent down. You can walk your hands forward for a variation of puppy pose. Or maybe walk the hands close underneath your seat, behind you even. 
Try to send the weight forward as much as you're comfortable into the balls of your feet, flexing the quads. If tripod or tripod headstand is in your practice, you'd like to try to pipe up. Take the next three to five breaths to do that. Planting the crown of your head, elbows in tight. to lower down, piking down carefully and gently. Together we'll find our way to a flat back for a twist. Right hand will stay down underneath the face, left arm lifts out and open. Stay here, maybe take a half bind. Maybe you'd like to walk that right hand to the outside edge of the left foot or ankle. Exhale, switch sides, left hand down, right arm inhales up. Stay here, maybe half bind. Walk the hand to the right ankle if you're comfortable. Breathe fully, I'm a little tight for that. A few more breaths. Extend the arm, exhale, hands down. Eventually bring your hands to your hips, gently bend the knees to come up to standing. Right into warrior two, right side. Deep inhale, exhale to frame your foot, step back to lower, just step right into down dog. Preparing that opposite side. On your next inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, left knee, right, fall in triangle. Plant in the knife edge of that left foot. Lift the right side. One more deep breath in. Exhale, hands down, knee to chest, high lunge. Rise up, carefully and gently. Go ahead and then bring that left arm underneath the right, interlacing the opposite side. Take a moment, find your footing. Then take warrior three with that arm bind. Eventually step into that left foot, lift the right. Extend through the fingertips and flex the legs. Stay with it. Good. Carefully come up to standing. Bring that right knee with you. Step the right leg over the left. Find your eagle pose. Falling out of the side. <laughs> Stay balanced. Listen to your body. If you fall out of it, come right back into it. Use your breath. Maybe eagle and snacks for the last moment or two. Good, eventually come up to standing, release the binds, knee up, back to warrior two. Good, dancing warrior, inhale, flip it up and back. Exhale, side angle. Two more times, inhale, reach that left arm up and back. Exhale into side angle. Last time, inhale up, send it back, find some peace. Exhale into your side angle. Any variation, maybe windmill the right arm. Maybe take a half bind, a full bind if it's a new practice, or bird of paradise, your choice. 
few more breaths. You've taken any binds of birds, begin to touch down, releasing that right arm up. Carefully inhale yourself back up, straighten the leg, bump the hips out, reach forward, up and down, triangle pose. Take a moment, find this side, the opposite openings on this side, maybe a half bind, maybe an extension over the head. Breathe through it, breathe openness, breathe light. the legs, find your breath, gazing behind you, letting that neck loose, letting the head hang, letting gravity send that weight forward. How's everybody doing? Feeling good? <laughs> Take another deep breath in, and another deep breath out. Releasing the fingertips, take a moment. We're gonna come into a lizard lunge, starting with that right side. We're gonna walk the hands over to come to the inside edge of that right foot, pop up on the ball of the back foot, and find your lizard lunge variation. It's your choice. You can drop to your elbows, you can take those binds, you can drop that back knee in bind, from the top of the foot, twisting, getting into your quadriceps. Keep that breath full. Your practice, your variation, your choice. This feels very good for me right now. I don't know about you guys. Nice hip opener. One more breath, release any binds, any variations. Eventually plant that right foot, pop up on the ball of the back foot for a moment, and switch sides. We're just gonna walk the hands to the left, come up on the ball of the right foot, left foot plants, hands to the inside edge of that left foot. Take any lizard lunge. Drop to the elbows, stay up high. Drop to your knee, maybe bind around that left ankle or on the top of your right foot. Utilize your breath. Deep, full belly breaths in and out of your nose. Fire it up still. begin to release carefully, we'll meet in a yogi squat at the top of our mat. Take your time to frame your hands with your feet, taking your time into your yogi squat. The elbows come into the thighs, the hands are at our heart, and our breath is deep. Maybe close the eyes a moment. From here, we'll make our way into one final vinyasa. So your choice, you can just start to step back now to plank and lower, 
Or maybe you'd like to try to find crow pose by planting your palms, bringing your knees in towards your triceps, come up onto the toes, send the weight into the hands and lift each foot. Maybe you're just playing with balance here, getting one foot up at a time. Eventually we want those heels towards our seat for full crow. Gaze something in front of you, neutrally. Another breath or two, meeting in Chaturanga. When you're ready, step or float back, right into Chaturanga, lowering down, making our way into downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. On your next inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale into the chest into pigeon pose. Starting our cool down, getting right into our hips. Right knee and ankle touch down, scoot that back foot, left foot touches down. Lift the heart into proud pigeon, puffing out the chest. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, carefully lower down into pigeon. Dropping your third eye down to a block, a mat, maybe rolled up fists or forearms. Reconnect as you get deep into your stash, where instead we hold emotion, especially negative emotion, maybe some irritability, maybe some anxiety, especially with everything going on in our world right now. Take a moment to acknowledge anything that arises as you get deep into your stash. Finding any emotion that comes up, any thoughts that are unsettling. And just as easily release them. Release them out of your psyche. Release them out into the universe. And breathe. Let go of anything that does not serve you. Another moment or two, getting deep. And eventually bringing your hands back, lifting your heart center up, take a deep inhale, and a deep exhale. Rolling over that back foot to lift that right side out and open. Shake it out. Down dog split, hip opener. And eventually come back to down dog to come into your opposite side and the left leg will lift on an inhale. Exhale, lean the chest right into pigeon. Touch right back down. Find proud pigeon first to get there. Inhale, your heart center lifts. Exhale, heart center down. Third eye drops down. Rolled up fist, stacked forearms or forehead to your mat. Breath is still nice and full, deep ujjayi breath still. Sending your breath to your hips now. Noticing the natural imbalance on this side as we get into our opposite side, our left stash holder. Release anything that may arise here, if anything at all. And breathe, stay present. Few more breaths. Take a deep breath in. In that deep release out to gently come out of it, we'll bring the hands back. Fingertips tap, lift the heart for a moment. Proud pigeon. And release that side. Roll over the back foot, lift the left leg up and back, shake it out. 
And we'll just meet seated on our knees for a moment. Great job, everybody. We're going to make our way to our cool down now, starting with a few back bends. We're going to start in pigeon or in pigeon and hero. So we're just going to bring our knees together and our feet will just um, graze our glutes. So we're going to make a, a little space. Maybe you need to sit on a block or a pillow even in your house. Just taking a moment to bring your seat down to something as your knees are touching and your feet are at your glutes. From here, we're just going to walk the fingertips back and we're going to take a back bend from here, just lifting our heart. Here's our back bend, our first back bend in hero's pose. Really bring the belly button in and lift that heart open. Engage your core, you can take it deeper, you know where you're going with it. Maybe down to your elbows. Maybe all the way reclined on your mat. With the elbows interlacing behind your back, behind your head. Take a few moments to find the pose. If this at all becomes uncomfortable, come out of it. We're going to meet and see it anyway. But just take a few more moments. If it feels nice, if you can feel those openings, great pose to heal scar tissue in the joints, the ankles and knees. Eventually come out of that, lift yourself up, and meet in staff pose, bringing the legs out in front of you, shaking out the ankles, the knees. Good. From there, we'll just take one final back bend. We'll take either reverse tabletop or reverse plank. So you're just going to take your time to plant your feet. Again, bring the shoulder, the hands back behind you underneath your shoulders. For reverse tabletop, we're just going to lift the hips and drop the head back. Really, again, engage your core and flex that heart center open. If you're more comfortable in table or reverse plank, extend the legs and plant the feet. Take your time to find that posture. Wherever you're at, engage your core and lift your heart out and open. Just for another few breaths. One more deep breath in. Exhale back to your seat. Find Paschimottanasana. Seated forward fold. Feet zip up. Eventually lift your arms up on an inhale. Exhale, fold over those deep extended legs. Flexing the quads, toes are toward the nose. Breath is nice and full. Breath by breath, leading your heart over that extension. Trying to keep roundness out of the back. Carefully inhale yourself back up. Janu Sirsasana, starting with that left leg staying extended. Right foot comes to the inside edge of that left leg and we'll refold. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold over that deep extension. Left leg is flexed, toes toward the nose. Breath is full. Breath by breath, draping your heart center down. Carefully begin to lift yourself back up and switch sides. Right leg extends, left foot comes into the inside of that right leg. Leg is flexed, quads to toes, toward the nose. Inhale, lift that heart. Exhale, heart center frames that right leg. Fingertips down at a side or maybe we're interlacing on our ankle or our foot. Keep that breath nice and fiery still, that deep ujjayi breath. Keep your intention in mind.
eventually begin to lift yourself back up. This time our feet will come together, butterflying those legs for a moment. And finding our seated bound angle. When you're ready, lead that heart. Deep inhale. Exhale, fold over bound legs. Hands can stay on the ankles or feet or maybe walk forward using your fingertips tented to gently distribute that weight down. Leading with the heart again, taking roundness out of your spine. Breath by breath, find your edge. Find the, that deepest space. Eventually, begin to lift yourself back up. Bring the knees together to meet in boat pose on your mat. Bringing the knees up, shins parallel to your mat to start us off. Maybe we need to grip behind the thighs. Maybe we're comfortable with the arms off at our sides. Just take a few deep breaths, sandwiching the chest towards the thighs. Maybe flexing the toes toward the nose. You can stay there or extend the legs. Breathing deep into your core. Another couple breaths. Deep inhale. Exhale, recline all the way down to your mat. Take your time to get there. Splaying out for a moment. Taking a breath or two, thanking yourself for that deep practice you've also beautifully created for yourself, your body mind and soul. Taking your time to plant your feet, rolling up into a ball for a moment, staying right here, maybe taking gentle circles left and right. If you're comfortable and happy baby, maybe bringing the knees towards the chest. Bringing the fingertips to the outside edges of the feet, either through the legs or the outside of the legs. Maybe you'd like to extend each leg one at a time or together. Make it your own. Take a few moments to find some opening, to find a little release. Eventually, let's try to bring our feet together. And bring our feet towards our chest, towards our, or more so our, our stomach. And just find a uh, reclined bound angle with our, with our feet towards our, our stomach. Maybe use your elbows to open up the thighs, the hips a little bit. Pushing the elbows in towards the thighs, seeing how that feels. And then coming back to center, rolled up into a ball, coming right into a twist, dropping knees left, gaze right. Maybe you'd like to extend that right leg to bind the right foot in your twist to get into your right T-band. Maybe you'd like to find scissor pose even deeper by binding the top of the right foot with the right hand, or the left foot rather with the right hand. And then dropping your head right wherever you're at in your twist. Deepening it as much as you'd like to. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, come back to center. Give yourself a squeeze to switch sides, realigning the spine. Drop knees right, gaze left, and take any variation on this side. Maybe you'd like to find that IT extension. Maybe you'd like to find scissor pose, binding the right foot with the left hand. Wherever you're at, knees drop right, and we're gazing left. Finding your variation of a twist one final time.
Deep breath in. Deep release out. Come back to center, rolled up into a ball. Squeeze everything together. And we'll take one inversion of your choice, starting in legs up the wall, flexing the legs towards, or uh, flexing the quads, toes are toward the nose. Our arms will come off at our sides, planting them there. You can stay, or maybe find shoulder stand, plow pose, your variation of one final inversion, one final posture for yourself before finding final rest. Five to seven breaths. Shoulder stand, maybe find plow. Your pressure pose, that's in your practice. A few more breaths. Eventually make your way up uh, to legs up the wall. Shoulder stand and plow. And together for a count of five, we'll lower our heels down. Five, four, Three, two, Shavasana. Take your time to find your way completely reclined and released, relaxed, serene and calm. Five to seven minutes if you can. Most important part of your practice is your final rest to let that beautiful energy you've also mindfully created for yourself, search through your body, give yourself some time here, let it sink in, let that vinyasa flow through your body in your final rest, enjoying every minute of it, thanking yourself for that beautiful practice. I'll be watching, so make sure you all take your vinyasa or your shavasana. <laughs> oh, look at that hair. I'm signing off, guys, but thank you so much for coming day and uh, morning and night here with us at the studio, both studios. Thank you so much for practicing. The light in me bows to the light in all of you. Namaste. Bye.